Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to paint the wizard Oman Rule from the fantastic Reaper Bones miniatures. First, get yourself into some clothes that you don't mind ruining. Find yourself a surface that you can paint on without damaging it. This desk was manufactured sometime during the Cold War, so it's perfect for the job. Open your miniature up and we'll clean it up. All models have mould lines running around them from the casting process. This is easy to carefully remove by scraping them off with a knife. Always remember to apply pressure lightly and always cut away from yourselves or you'll find your fingerprints will rapidly change. Clean up any remaining flash on the models with a file. We're going to paint this model using only the Reaper colours Polished Bone, Fair Shadow, Earth Brown and True Blue. That's right, not even a black or white. It is important not to use spray primer on Reaper Bones miniatures. It reacts badly to the spray and stays tacky forever. Bones plastic has been formulated to allow you to paint directly onto the surface without priming. First step is to do a base coat of an appropriate colour instead of priming. This sets the overall tone of the model. Because this is a brightly coloured model, I have base coated it in polished bone with my airbrush. You can just as easily give it a coat by hand. Firstly, we're going to do base coats. We're going to paint his hat, cloak, sash, orb and bracelet with true blue. Make sure you shake these paints for at least a minute before you use them as they can separate when they are stored. Get yourself a palette. I'm using a white piece of plastic card but you can use a spare plate or even an actual palette if you're feeling fancy. There's no need to water these paints down, they're perfectly liquid straight out of the bottle. Pop a bit on your palette, don't squeeze too hard. So let's just give his cloak, sash, hat, orb and bracelet a coat of true blue. You may need to do two thin coats to not get patchy coverage over the white base coat, but this is perfectly normal. And there we see his cloak, hat, and accessories when painted blue. Any mistakes can be carefully painted back over with polished bone. Next we're going to take fair shadow and paint his skin, being careful not to get any on his lovely clean robes. Next step, we'll take earth brown give a nice coat of this on his base, shoes and belt. And with that, the base coating stage is complete. Now we'll move on to the washes. So let's take polished bone and earth brown, mix them 50-50 and water them down to the consistency of milk. A good tip here is adding a dab of hand soap or washing up liquid. It breaks the surface tension of the paint and lets it flow into the recesses which is exactly the effect that we're looking for. Wash over his white robe with this mixture. As we can see, it has flowed into the shadowed areas of his robe, giving it instant definition. Next we'll do the same to his cloak, by mixing 50-50 earth brown and true blue to make a sort of grey colour. Paint this into the deepest recesses of his cloak and sash, and around the base of his orb where it meets his hand. Also wash over his beard at this stage with this mix. Finally for the washes stage, we will take a 50-50 mix of fair shadow and earth brown. Mix it down with water and a dab of washing up liquid and wash his exposed skin. Now it's time for the final stage, layering up. The first thing we want to do is to take pure polished bone straight from the palette 
and paint his robes again, but this time we're only going to paint the raised areas and not the shadows. We see now this has made his robes look a lot cleaner. Do the same with true blue for his cloak, sash and all. Finally, we'll do the same with Fair Shadow for his skin, making sure we only paint his most prominent areas like his nose, cheekbones and the top of his hand. At this point, we're nearly done, but there's one more thing that we can do called dry brushing. This is a really simple technique. Take 50-50 mix of earth brown and polished bone, Mix it on your palette and then wipe off the majority of the paint onto a bit of tissue. Lightly brush this over his textured base, avoiding his lovely clean shoes. This brings out the texture that's sculpted into his base well and it's really easy to do. So there you have it, Oman Rule the Wizard, painted to core level in very little time with these simple techniques. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at DragonPainter2020. See you next time!